Hello friends, welcome to our channel. I am with Guruji. What, why, how? In this series, today we will discuss hot standby router protocol, also known as HSRP. What is HSRP? Hot standby router protocol HSRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol which provides redundancy for a local subnet. In HSRP, two or more routers gives an illusion of a virtual router. HSRP allows you to configure two or more routers as standby routers and only a single router as an active router at a time. All the routers in a single HSRP group shares a single MAC address and IP address which acts as a default gateway to the local network. The active router is responsible for forwarding the traffic. If it fails, the standby router takes up all the responsibilities of the active router and forwards the traffic. Why do we need HSRP? The HSRP supports configurable MAC addresses. This lets client PC and destination networks use HSRP as the first destination to start routing IP traffic. Peer-to-peer -peer networking applications have significantly used the HSRP protocol, which also allows IP redundancy and maintains maximum redundancy. How do we configure HSRP? Some important terms related to HSRP. First, virtual IP. IP address from local subnet is assigned as default gateway to all local hosts in the network. Second, virtual MAC address. MAC address is generated automatically by HSRP. The first 24 bits will be default Cisco address. The next 16 bits are HSRP ID. The next 8 bits will be the group number in hexadecimal. Third, hello messages. Periodic messages exchanged by active and standby routers. These messages are exchanged after every 3 seconds telling the state of router. Fourth, hold down timer. Its default value is 10 seconds, that is roughly 3 times the value of hello message. This timer tells us about the router that how much time will the standby router wait for hello message if it is not received on time. Note, if the active router fails, then the standby router will become the active router. Fifth, priority. By default, the priority value is 100. It is helpful when the active router comes back after failing down. We can change the priority of standby router, which has become the active router after the original active router is down to less than 100. Therefore, it again becomes standby router. Not the router having higher priority will become the active router. Sixth, preempt. It is a state in which the standby router automatically becomes the active router. Now let's see a scenario. Now here we can see our PC is connected to a switch. Switch is connected to two routers, router 0 and router 1. And both routers are connected to the router 2. This is our system IP configuration. Here the default gateway is our HSRP IP. So before doing the HSRP configuration, we need to do some basic configuration. That is doing the IP routing and giving the IP address to the interfaces. So here this is the configuration of router 1 and router 2. Now this is the HSRP configuration for router 0. For that particular interface we will use the commands the standby 12 the IP address which will become the default gateway of our system or the PC. Then the priority by setting a priority more than 100, we are making this router as an active router. Preempt and then the track. By doing the tracking, if the interface goes down, then automatically our priority will decrease by the value which we have provided. In this case, this is 30. Router 1. We are doing the GSRP configuration, the standby and the IP address. 
now when our router 0 is working as an active router we can see we are able to ping 2222 which is our IP address in router 2 if we do the trace we can see our first stop is dot 100 which is IP address of router 0 when our active router goes down then our traffic will keep moving and we can see we are still able to ping the same IP address but now the path is changed now it's moving to the router 1 thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe